Oh, not this again. Tangelo, why are you stopping the show? Hmm. Tangelo is upset again because there are thousands of you still who have not bothered to subscribe. This is most distressing to Tangela because it is your subscriptions that tell YouTube Incorporated that we are a program worthy of their financial support. With your subscription, we'll eventually make enough money to pay for the production so we can continue producing this show. Oh, really? If you like our show, please subscribe right now. You'll make me happy, Tangela happy, and you'll have the satisfaction of knowing that with your help, Creature Features will continue long into the future. Push that subscribe button now and thank you. Are you happy now? May we resume our previously scheduled program? and welcome to Creature Features. I am Vincent, this is Livingston, and that is Tangella. But enough about us, let's talk about tonight's film, shall we? Because premiering for the first time ever on our show tonight will be a blockbuster cult classic film with which we know you're all quite familiar. Starring Sissy Spacek, John Travolta, Nancy Allen, and Amy Irving, this Stephen King story is hailed as one of his best works. That's right, mates, tonight we shall screen Carrie from 1976, directed by Brian De Palma and produced by... Oh, nonsense, you teasing quipster. What? She's right, you know. That's impossible. You heard the conversation with our distribution representative. She clearly stated that she was sending us Carrie from 1976. You are mistaken. She said the movie she was sending was just like Carrie from 1976. My sincerest apologies, friends at home. While I always make nothing less than a gallant and noble effort to deliver the best films possible for your viewing pleasure, my efforts are often thwarted and my hopes are frequently dashed by fast-talking distributors, ill-mannered butlers, and crafty housemates. Instead of Carrie from 1976, we shall present The Spell from 1977. I have no data at all about this film. Starring Lee Grant, Susan Myers, and a very young Helen Hunt, the film revolves around the tale of an overweight high school girl who is mercilessly bullied by her classmates. The young woman develops magical powers and is soon wreaking havoc upon those who have wronged her. Just like in Carrie. This one doesn't have the bucket of blood. Movie issues aside, at least we'll have a fabulous guest. Joining us to watch this Carrie imposter will be the wonderful Miss Misery. She's a hostess of horror, the subject of a number of comic books, and an all-around lovely and knowledgeable young lass who will surely know a good deal more about tonight's film than yours truly. So don't go away, for it is to be another night of schoolyard revenge fright, right here on Creature Features. Stay tuned.
Portions of this program are brought to you by Micromat, making products that keep your Macintosh running at its best. It's that time of the week. You know, I'm always, I, I've got to come up with something better to say. Not this time of the week, because, you know, people could be watching us like every day on YouTube. That's yep. true. That's right, true. Right. It's, it's Miss Misery night, right? That's what it is. Right. I'm joined by Miss Misery. You know, it's, it's, it's been so long. I know, too long. I, you know, it's, it's, she's, she's like another horror host, and she's not too far away. And, we, you know, we should, we should conspire on <gasps> what kinds of things should happen in the world of horror hosting right we should we should make a movie together no, and she's just like me you know why because she is she's one of the few horror hosts like myself who does not wear a top hat you've got beautiful hair i have beautiful hair why cover it it's very you know? true i think every horror host that wears a top hat is hiding something if if I not agree. a rabbit i agree then balding maybe <gasps> yeah it's all real Anyways, Miss Misery, horror host, comic book character, author, I understand, I just learned. Yes. I mean, my goodness, you've done almost everything. Director, producer, script writer, I... For what? Name it, I do it. You did it, for what? <laughs> oh, all kinds of things. I've written directed movies, I've done comic books, I've produced oh short goodness. films for people, I've produced films, major budgets for people, I've wrote for people, I've... I'm an author of over 15 books. 15 books? You're an international woman of mystery. <laughs> That's wonderful. 15 Love books. That. Did you bring them all? No, I brought one, my latest one. All right. Well, I suppose that's fine. But, you know, <laughs> when I would visit people, I'd say, here's all my albums. Oh. Right? So oh, I'll bring a box next time. You should bring an entire case. And, you know, yes, one of the, maybe one of those little bookmobiles. Ooh. No, you've, you've done enough I to have a bookmobile. <laughs> I have. You're right. right. I have. Right. The Spell, 1977. That's what we're watching tonight. Love it. You love this movie. I love it. Because it has magic. I haven't it's... seen it yet, but we'll see. Oh. Well, you know, it sounds good, <laughs> right? The Spell. The Spell. And it's not a spelling bee, I assure you. It's, it's, a, it's apparently about, um, it's like Carrie. Ooh. The movie Carrie. You've seen Carrie. better. Oh. Well, I've read we, Carrie. I've we were supposed Carrie. to get Carrie. Oh. We, no, we ordered Carrie special for you, and then they sent us this. Second best. I, it's, I suppose, because it's <laughs> supposed to be a complete, almost perfect knockoff. Oh, of Carrie, well, let's so, watch it. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. All right, so we're going to start this film. When we come back, we're going to talk about stuff you've done, and things you're going to do, and things you wish you did, and things that you regret doing as well. Oh, a quiz. Right? But first, let's start the spell, 1977. It's got a young Helen Hunt. Ooh, She's even trying. better. Yep, yep, yep. Off we go, the spell. See you on the other side of the commercial break. Welcome back to Creature Features. If you're just joining us, you missed a really good part of the film. Oh, hey, so this good. just goes right into it. <laughs> it does. Yeah, it I really like does. It. It's it's nice to not have a lot of yak 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 until and have to wait till you know the middle of the film before you see the action. She's already killing people, so good move. Love it. No, I think I think you know this is this is this is the way things should be dealt with. Is with really? psychic telekinesis powers, right? No. Well, That's you know, true. in the old days, when I was, when I was uh, in, in school, they, they would, like, we would fist fight. That, yes, that's right. right. If I had telekinesis. Oh, it would be so much be, easier. Oh, right, right. So much easier. Miss Misery, what's the name of your show? Miss Misery's Movie Massacre. Movie Massacre. Do you spell, how do you spell massacre? 
M-A-S-S-A-C-R-E. I, I thought this wasn't a spelling bee. No, it's not. The film is called <laughs> The Spell, but we are not okay. doing The Spell. No, the reason why I ask this is, you know, somebody told me that massacre in, in the United States is not spelled the same way as it is in the UK, and you just proved it is. Really? I don't know. It's... That's quite interesting. Right. So, so, Movie Massacre, how did you come up with that name? I don't know. Do you massacre the movies, or are they ma purely massacre movies? Well, they are massacred movies, oh, if you think right. about it. Well, you know, we chop them up for television, uh, so we massacre <laughs> them as well. Very true. Yes. Very true. I, I don't know how I came up with the name. Names, to me, are actually, um, I'm very, um, how do I say it? I'm very, uh, ugh, about my names. I'm if the I same way. Right? No. Uh, uh. Yes. Yeah, because if you don't come up with a good name and you're not comfortable with it, then you don't think everyone else will be comfortable with it. It's your trademark. It. It's your moniker. It's your, exactly. It's, it's, it's what you put on your stationery, right? Exactly. So, all right. Yes. Now, I understand. So, you've been doing this how long? I've been Miss Misery since 2007. 2007. So, started, you've been doing this longer than me. Quite a bit I longer I started than my me. first show, The Last Doorway, which was an interview show. Right. And then one day I was doing a convention in San Jose and this guy came up to me, gave me his car and said, you want to host movies for my channel? And I said, no. No? I said no because I thought every horror host hosts the same movie. Right. Who's going to see the movie again with me hosting it? But apparently people do. Well, of course. And yeah. I, I just started doing it. Because you do a show. It's like, it's, it's, it's like dinner and a movie. Right? It, it is, Except yes. you're the dinner, <laughs> right? And no, no, you, you would make a lovely souffle to go along with like some old horror flick that everyone's seen. Yeah, it's the same thing with us. It's like, you know, we bring out Tangella and then people say, all right, I'll watch that silly film again because, <laughs> yeah. you know, it's got Tangella with it this time. Exactly. So you're, you're the same. So you're telling me you're on uh, regular standard broadcast television. Yes. Roku. Roku. And now you're starting to do uh, YouTube as well. Starting to do YouTube for the, the fans that don't get the stations I'm on. They said, why aren't you on YouTube? I said, I don't know. Why am I not? You should be on YouTube. So I'm no. putting them on YouTube. No, uh, our favorite viewers are on YouTube. Awesome. No, they're, they're, they're watching us right now. Right this minute. They're looking at you yes. and saying, I want to see his station. So how, how, do we, how do we find your show? I want to put that up now so they can go look. Okay, so lastdoorwayproductions.com. If you go there, you just found all, you find all the information. Lastdoorwaysproductions.com. Lastdoorwayproductions.com. Doorway, single? Doorway, yes. Single, lastdoorwayproduction.com. If you go there, you can find everything. My comic books, my books, my movies, the show, everything. All right, so it's, it's like, it's like the, the centerpiece of your internet world. Yes. All right, all right. Oh, all yeah. right well, when you say we get back to this film. Yeah, I want to see what happens next. And when we come back, I want to talk about your book writing. Okay, great. All right, all right. Off we go back to The Spell. 1977. I, I, I don't know if it gets better or not. I've never seen this film, but uh, you can tell me. We'll see. Bye. You know, he does like those bones, does he not? Welcome back to the show. We are uh, watching The Spell with Miss Misery, but Miss Misery stepped away for a, a quick moment so that Tangella and Fang could sit in the chair. You know, for a dog named Fang, he's, he's rather fluffy and, and friendly looking, don't you think? He looks like a Benji. He does look like a Benji. He's right, you know. Anyways, uh, we, we're going to take this opportunity to read the mail that you send to us because if you send us mail, it is our obligation to read it, right? Indeed. Indeed. What do you got for me, Mr. Livingston? Ocala, Florida. How are you, sir? I'm well. Are you staying out of trouble? I have to. You know, one of these days, I'm going to have to bail him out of jail. I don't know why, but that would be fun. I would be rather... He's bailed me out a few times. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ocala, Florida. Christy Clark writes us. She hails from Ocala. Is that pronounced correctly, Ocala? I'm not sure. All right. Ocala is another alternative. Could be an Indian name of some it's, sort. It's Florida. All right, I'm from 
Ocala, Florida. I watch all of you all's shows. All of you all are awesome, and y'all's shows are great. That sounds like the South. Yeah, you know, I it, so Florida is technically South, right? But they don't speak like that there, do they? It's a mix. It's a mix. All right. Well, thank you for writing, Christy, and uh, we hope things are wonderful in Florida. Watch out for crocodiles. I understand you have those beasts there. Those are, you know, they bite. They nip. I think it's alligators. Alligators? Not crocodiles. Where are crocodiles? On the Nile. Oh, all right. Have we ever gotten any mail from somebody on the Nile? No. Right. Well, when that comes, I shall use the correct animal. Someone in denial, perhaps. Denial, I like that. All right, uh, Eugene Gray writes to us, uh, subject movie recommendation. We don't get enough of these, you know. Oh, every day. Right, we do. All right, uh, he goes, uh, the old Universal Classic Monster movies I'm sure would be expensive to televise, but there's one that may or may not be expensive. The movie is The Invisible Ray with Karloff and Lugosi, made in 1936. It is more of a science fiction movie than a horror movie, even though it has its cast, Universal's two biggest monster stars of the 30s. I watched it the other night and highly recommend it to anyone who enjoys the old Universal classics. It's very atmospheric and even has a little airplane flying around the globe at the beginning. If it's not expensive, I highly recommend showing this movie, Eugene Gray. Well, uh, thanks for the recommendation, Eugene. However, the issue here is not so much the price or the movies, we cannot show those films on YouTube. So that means we would have to do a, an episode of the show for TV and then one for YouTube with a different movie, and it's just a big mess. So if we can't show it on YouTube, then we just don't do it, right? Right. Right. So uh, maybe someday when Universal lets us show on both, we'll do that. But until then, sorry. We have a package. A package. Give me the package with a letter. I you know, assume it's she's got a handful. I shall dispense with the well. distribution of this. I, I shall use my shoe as a, a present stand. All right. This is from Max Allison. Is that a real name? I'm assuming so. It's now, typewritten as well. well it, is it is rarity. done with a real typewriter. And uh, But could this be an Allison to the Max? Like... Her name is Allison, and she is like the maximum version of an Allison. Oh, I see. This is your attempted humor. No, it's my attempt to understand this name. Ah. All right. We're going to assume it's Maximilian Allison, and it is a he. And uh, he is in Indiana in Salisburg. 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 I've never heard of this. Hmm. All right. Uh, dear Vincent Livingston and Tangella, I discovered Creature Features about a year ago, and ever since I've tuned in every Saturday night, I even got my mom into it as well. It's our favorite mother-son bonding activity. Uh, imagine that. Imagine that. Mother, you know, it's better than Mother's Day because you don't have to buy flowers or cake, right? Popcorn. Popcorn. Yeah, it's less expensive than flowers and cake, I assure you. Uh, let's see. Uh, we found this octopus for Tangella, and we hope she will enjoy it. I also collect autographs, and if there's any way of getting a signed photo, let me know. I think we can arrange that, sir. I'm pretty sure Sean Penn ripped off Vincent's look in his film, the Must, This Must Be the Place. Uh, have I seen that film? I don't think so. I'm going to look into that. And here is the octopi. Look at this. It kind of looks like you. It's got like the little bow tie, but you don't, you don't always do the bow ties. He used to do bow ties. Not anymore. Why? Here, Change it he, up. Do not let Fang eat this wonderful gift from Max. All right, I'm going to give you back the letter. Anything and else? I have one more. One more from. Oh, from I recognize old this. I recognize this. All right, uh, for those of you who've been watching the show for a while, you know that there's somebody who writes to us frequently. His name is Ted Oakman, and he is he writes to us every day. Every time we go to the mailbox, there's Letters a from pile of. Mail. We, we, we've got a huge box of all the mail we save from Ted. So uh, every now and then we will read one of these. And he goes, uh, June 1980, the 14-year-old teenager during afternoon daylight stood under the UFO three feet above himself. He chased after it, jumped on it, and rode on the UFO across the city of Oakville. The Oakville alien enjoys watching Creature Features since 1980. Yours truly, Ted Oakman. That's your valley. And he, uh, he enclosed this picture. We'll put a big one up. So... Uh, Ted, 
you've got to find something better to do than write to us. I, we love hearing from you, but uh, every day, mates, go have some fun. Go hunt down that UFO or join a ghost hunting group, right? Wouldn't that be good for him? If he joined a ghost hunting group, then he can go find ghosts instead of... An interesting recommendation. Writing letters to us, right? No? Maybe? We'll see. And that would be it. That's it for mail. If you'd like to send us mail of your own by email, send it to the address you see over here. Or if you'd like to send a wonderful octopi to place on Tangela's head, send it to the P.O. box you see right here. We'll be right back with Miss Misery soon, but first let's get back to the spell. Portions of Creature Features are brought to you by the Winchester Mystery House in San Jose, California. Explore the mystery at winchestermysteryhouse.com. You know, this book is much like this film. Really? Well, it. she's a slasher girl, right? Well, yes. Because it's called Slasher Girl. Mm -hmm. And this one in the movie is like, she slashes with her mind. Ooh. Right? Nice. A mind slasher. You should write a book called Mind, mind Slasher. <laughs> Done. No, no, no. People are going <laughs> to think that she uses a knife to remove the brains of people. But in reality, she uses her mind to slash. I like that. Done I don't. It's a done. dumb idea. Don't do no, it. No, I'm doing no, you it. you stick with... And I'm dedicating it to you. This is... You know, I, I've never had a book dedicated to me, so that would be wonderful. <laughs> this is a wonderful book. Thank you. And, you know, I, I don't know the content. I have not read this book. You know, have you ever seen those presenters? Who, uh, oh, yes. In chapter three of page five, you said... Yeah, you know, I never read it. I, it takes me a year to read a book. Oh. However... <laughs> One thing I can say about this book that I like about the content of this book is she uses a bloody spooky font for the chapters. No, nobody ever does that. Stephen King never does this. Why not? Why not no, use it? No, why exactly is what he should be thinking about because, you know, it's a spooky book. It should have a spooky font. It does add to it. Now, you it? could have done it for the rest. I mean, what is this, Times Roman, the rest of the book? Well, whatever my publisher used, yes. All right, all right. <laughs> well, it, you know, you should compliment him for using that. So you wrote this book all by yourself. Uh, yes, all right? by myself. <laughs> and this is a novel, uh -huh. right, about a slasher girl? Uh, yeah, well, from what I can describe best about it, it's like American Psycho meets Promising Young Woman, if you've seen those two oh, movies. Oh, yes. Yes. That's nice. It's a great revenge and Maybe we tale. should mention here that Miss Misery's real name, <laughs> Young. How Raina, do you pronounce that? Young. Raina Young. But not like That's my Carl author Jung. name. No. Because <laughs> no, that would be with a J, right? Yeah. Livingston, I, Livingston will correct me on that. You know, I've heard him call people with the name Young, Jung. Oh, really? I don't know why. It's, it's that whole German thing. No, no, no. I, oh. I think, you know, I think he went to a military school. I don't know. He, he wants really? to that. So you wrote, how long does it take you to write a book this long? Uh, well, when I write a book, I process it through my head first. I have One to have the assume. beginning, the middle, the end right. first in my head before I start writing. And it. everything else is just filler. Exactly. Right, so right. with that book, I had it in my head for a whole year. A Be year. To make sure I wanted it exactly right. the way I wanted it nice. before I started writing it. That's, that's, that's usually great. what I do. So when you finally took pen to paper keyboard to computer or quill to parchment <laughs> how long did that pro process take uh, it depends um before i uh, let's see years ago i would do a lot of typing first right. i would do computer first but right. for some reason pen and paper for me is it, it's not that it's faster it just feels better for some reason it's so much more portable it's isn't? i don't know right. what it is i guess it's, i'm just so old school I guess that's, that's no, why. It's nice. You know, yeah. you know what, sometimes I get handwritten notes, and most of them I cannot read. But oh. every now and then I get someone who's a true penman, 
Ah. Who just beautiful, like I could read it perfectly. Nice, so isn't it's like it? Script. All right, so we can find out more about this book at that website we yes, gave before. Yes, go to my website. We brought and that up before. There's the links there to purchase it, and I'm telling you, oh, you'll look, enjoy it. Pictures in the back. What are, these are all your other books. Uh, well, no, these are books from the other publishers from. Yeah, so I right. go through Black Bedsheet Books. He's uh, Nicholas Krabowski from Black Bedsheet Books is my publisher. Black so in the back, sheet books. Black Bedsheet Books. Yes. I, I don't know what to say about that. Black <laughs> Bedsheet. What, what does Nobody that mean? does. All right. All Nobody right. does. Black. I don't think I've ever slept in a Black Bedsheet. Really, in my I have. Life. I don't know. All right. Well, you say we get back to this film. Yes. And we come back. Uh, we're going to talk about some of your other books, right? Great. Sounds All right. Good. Off we go back to the spell. Don't go away. This movie is good, but I think it will get better as well. See you soon. Hey, Vinny. How you doing, man? You doing a good job? Keep it up. Mr. Livingston, how you doing? Listen, obviously I'm a guy. My name's Giovanni. A little bit of a singer. But anyway, I'd like to uh, sing to, uh, what's her name, Tarantula? Let me know what you want to hear. Later, bro. Hello, this is Livingston. Apparently, one of my newly acquired domestic duties is to request help for our show financially by asking you to visit our patron page. Your generosity will help keep Creature Features on the air, which I'm not entirely sure is a good thing. However, with only a few dollars a month from you, your kindness will allow us to continue creating new programming each week, which apparently some of you curiously enjoy. And should you have the desire to give even more, you might even receive a gift from Ms. Tangella. I think not. Please visit the website below to learn more. Thank you. Miss Misery, Raina. Your hair looks fine. What are you doing? Yours looks better. I know. Where, where do you, who, who's your coiffeur? Me. You coiff your own hair. I do my own hair. Will you do mine? Of course. Could you make mine as shiny and manageable as yours? Mm, may take some work, but sure. What shampoo do you use? Pantene. I knew it. Yeah, somebody told me to use Prel Concentrate. No, I, I, I said no, I think I should be using Pantene. Yes. Because it makes it silky. Yeah, I, I'm going to switch. All right, we're going to try that first. Sure. Welcome back to the show. Yeah. Sorry for all the hair talk. But uh, when, you, when, you got, when you got fur like this, you need to look into these things. Anyways, uh, we are watching The Spell from 1977 with the wonderful Miss Misery, horror host, Rainy Young. And... Uh, we were talking about your book in the last one, but first yes. this film, Flaming Woman Dies. Combust. You know, I, 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 I thought... That's all I see. She might have been a drummer for Spinal Tap. Oh. And that's why she combusted. I love that movie. Yeah. Now and that's, that's I movie. think, you know, she was, she was maybe auditioning for a role Ooh. in that band, and uh, that's, that's what happened. Because, you know, that's the only time I've ever heard of people spontaneously combusting. I guess she didn't get the part. No. Well, she would be a hot drummer if she did. <laughs> she would. All right. Uh, movie we'll get back to in a moment. Uh, but uh, let's talk about some of your other books. You said you wrote 15 books. Yes, I've written a lot of books, actually. Um, so you're more of an <laughs> author than a horror host. I do it all. You do? How do you do it all? I don't know. You know, that's the number one question everyone always asks me. How do you do it all? Right. And, well, I do suffer from insomnia. I usually don't that's sleep. That's it. You don't sleep. No. So, yeah. yes. Tangella does not sleep either. Oh. No, she's, I've, I, I've seen her sleep once, 
And I, she, she had a run of like eight days of no sleep. Oh. And then she just like passed out on the floor of the parlor here. Sounds like me. But five minutes later, she was up like she'd slept for a week. Yeah, give me about 20 minutes, I'll be fine. That's amazing. So sure. you do most of your writing at night. Yes. When it's quiet. Very quiet. Nighttime. Right. That's, yes. Yeah, that's good. Have to do it at night. It's, it's the witching hour. You should write a book about witches. Have you written a book about witches? I have not. No. All right. So well, tell us about two of your other books. Well, uh, I just published another one. It's a ghost story. A ghost story? I love ghost yes, stories. Yes. called Welcome Home, Natalie. Welcome that's Home, Natalie. That's published through Demain Publishing. Right, right. Yes. So that's a ghost story. And what's the gist of that one? Well, it's about a woman who goes back home because her mom dies. And then she right. starts to deal with the past life of when she lived there and her mom was disturbed herself and oh her father goodness. went and left when she was little and she's going to find out everything that's happened. Oh, wow. Oh, yes. That sounds spooky. Oh, yes. Right. You know, we have a future filmmaker here, I think, <laughs> you know, with one of these books. All right, another yes. one? Oh, I write a children's book series called Monsters. Children's books? Yes, they're kind of like in the vein of Goosebumps. Nice. Yes. Oh, that's where the big money is. You could, you could be the next J.K. Rowling. Uh, who knows? Yeah, she's rich, you know. <laughs> she is. Oh, she's bloody rich. That's true. No, I, I, I couldn't believe it. Yes. She's got more money than the queen. What? She's got more money than the queen. Really? Yes. That's a lot of money. Can you believe that? Oh, That's a you lot know, the queen is not as rich as she looks. She just gets to borrow all that stuff. She doesn't own she any of it. it. She borrows it from J.K. Right. No, no, she borrows the <laughs> crown and those things. Oh, oh yes, uh, yes. That all becomes, that all belongs to the United Kingdom. You would know. I would, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. All right, no. so let's get back to the movie, see what happens next. Yes. And uh, when we come back, I want to talk to you about conventions. Oh, yeah. You've done them, I've done them. Love them. Our viewers have gone to them, and I think yes. we should talk about these things. I think right? so, too. All right, off we go, back to the spell. See Great. you on the other side of the break. Creature Features is brought to you by CreatureFeatureStore.com, the official merchandiser of Creature Feature accessories. Welcome back to that show we call Creature Features, but it's kind of like the Miss Misery Creature Feature comedy special tonight, right? Oh, right? yeah. You no, know, it's like an episode of Scooby Doo <gasps> when the Harlem <laughs> Globetrotters love... would come on in Scooby Doo and it would be like they'd act as a team. Yes. We're a team tonight. That's right. And you were a team on a film I've recently seen, Up Late with Bob Wilkins. That's you, right. She was all over this film. I was. You're one of the. The, the, the few lovely women in that, because yeah, I think you were the only woman in that film, right? So, yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now that you've mentioned right? it, yeah, yes, no, I, I think you're so. the only th that's female true. talking head in that whole film. That's right. Anyway, film, wonderful film done by our director, Tom, uh, Bob Wilkins, the creator of this show. And uh, 
yes. lots of nice footage and lots of interviews with people like you and Zetro. And then who That's else? That's right. Uh, yeah, a couple other see. people too. Eric E was in it. Eric E. Eric you know, Eric E. He was here on our show with uh, the B9 robot. I just saw Eric E. the other day. How is the old bloke? He's great. We miss you, Eric. You got to come back with the robot. <gasps> Anyways, uh, so you did that film, and then yes. that film, by the way, is available at uh, Garfield Lane Productions. Garfield Lane Productions dot com. Worth a watch. It's he's got footage on that that I've never seen before, and I thought I I'd me. seen all the footage. Yeah. I didn't right. see some of it. Was new for me too. Well, you used to watch cool. the show, right? No, you're too young. Oh, I, I, <laughs> no, no? I, I'm too young. <laughs> you, I'm a well, your too name's young. Raina Young, but, so you, maybe you're too young. That's true. But no, you were old enough to watch Bob Wilkins. But because I went to WonderCon convention, we were going to talk about conventions right, right. one time, and I met Bob and John, and I bought some stuff. And oh, all right. There you go. But you never saw it in its like pristine no. day when no. it was broadcast over the air. No. Yeah, all right. Sadly Neither not. did I. Don't feel bad. Oh, okay, Neither great. Did I. I, was, I was eating fish and chips in some countryside in the UK, so it's all oh, right. I missed it as well. <laughs> conventions. You do lots of these conventions. Oh, yes. I go to as many as I can through the and Well, no, whichever ones I can make No, it but not just go. You like all a featured Featured guest. guest. Yes. yes. Right, right. Yeah. What was your favorite convention? Oh, that's hard to say because... You have to tell me right to now. Be on okay, I'm going to be honest with you. My favorite convention I've ever done is Creatures Con. Right. Yes. <laughs> well, you know, you know why it's your favorite? It's one of my favorites as well. Not and the kidding. reason why is because it's not the crazy convention. It's like just a select group of people who are into that thing. Yes. The, the fans right. there are always phenomenal. Right. Creatures Con's always been like, it's like going home. Right, you know, no, it's, but it's it's more it's it's like a boutique convention, right? In the sense that it's only for this particular crowd realm. You don't realm. you don't see a lot of anime kids there, right? No, yeah. no, right. no, no. Right. So that's why it's fun. Oh, you know what Creatures Con should do? They should do a Bob Wilkins costume contest. Oh, that'd be interesting. That would you be know, I don't have a suit though. No, they wouldn't let me do that. Why not? No, that would be fun. Oh God, no, no, no. They would, they would, they would kick me out by my trousers. I yeah. would never kick you out. All right. Any any uh, big conventions coming up soon? Uh, yes. Just go to lastoryproductions.com and you can check oh, it out there. Oh my goodness! Actually, She's sending you to a website. I have to because you I forget. do so much. It's hard for me to to oh, remember oh, sometimes see, of everything I'm doing. She's a busy Crazy. lady. I am. And she made time to come watch a movie with us tonight, so that's that's nice. It's wonderful. Yes. All right, what do you say we wrap this thing up? Oh, yeah. And then you're going to tell us about your next project, right? Maybe. She will. All right, stick around. Uh, do not change the channel after the credits roll because it does not mean the program is over. It means the movie's over, but we still have a lot more to say, and Tangelo is going to be back. So stick around. See you soon. This brief moment of tranquility has been brought to you by Nightscape. Relax and sleep better every single night with this and other videos from our free YouTube channel. Learn more by visiting nightscape.co today. And so ends the spell. Yeah, that was a surprising ending. Did you like that? I was not expecting that at all. Me either. No, I, you know, she's got I that. loved it. It runs in the family. Right. Figures. Who in God's name is this? <gasps> this is Logan. Logan? Um, but I changed he, my name. He changed your, you changed your name? Yeah. Oh, what's my your goodness, new name? What's your new name? Eleven. Eleven? Eleven. 
But you don't look like a day over eight. <laughs> so in, you, you were doing all these things, making movies, yes. doing the show, and then you produced this. I You're did. a producer. Uh, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Right. No, he's, he's adorable. Are you going to be a, a horror host like your mum? Um, no, I'm the actor. Oh, no? he's an actor. You're an oh. actor. Oh, oh well, we what? can certainly use some of those around here. Yeah. <laughs> what kind That's of great. acting do you like to do? Acting. Acting like kindergarten acting at school? Horror films. Horror films. <laughs> <laughs> I bet he's good. What about Halloween? What are you going to be for Halloween? I like Frankenstein. Are you going to wear big boots? Yeah, you should wear big boots like this. You could borrow these if you'd like. They'll make you like this much taller. This much like, taller? This much, no, this much taller. It'll be uh -huh. nice. Uh -huh. It'll be fun. He's, he's going to make a fine Frankenstein. He is. Right? No, oh, he's yeah. probably going to be tall when he grows up as well. Oh, yeah. So you can do the real thing. Yes, <laughs> of course. All right. Well, uh, that's it for the movie tonight. Um, Miss Misery, what are you doing next? Everything. Everything. Taking over the world. Taking over the world. You're writing books. You're doing conventions. You're doing your show. Yep. And, uh, and I'm in pre-production. Taking of a, care of this young film. man. Taking care of him. Right now, yeah, you've got your plateful. Me, I just oh, gotta yes. contend with her. Are, are you? Do you behave with your mother? Because uh, this yeah. one does not behave. She's trouble. <laughs> you don't dig up graves, do you? Do you dig up graves? I hope not. Do you? No, it's it's dirty um, work and she does all um, My mom helps me dig up graves. Oh. oh. Well, that explains a lot, Miss Misery. Well, don't tell everyone. No, that's, that's <laughs> a secret. That's a secret. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for coming and uh, we hope to see you again soon. Yes. And as far as you guys go, thank you for staying up late and watching our show with us. We know you could have been doing something better like sleeping, right? No, that's what I'd be doing if I wasn't doing this. However, you stayed up late with us, and we uh, love that, and we love you, and we'll see you next week with a different guest, different movie, don't know who, but it'll be fun. See you next time. So, uh, Miss Misery, you know, I'm kind of thinking, since you do a horror house show, and I do a horror house show, perhaps one night we could swap. Not a bad idea. You can help Mr. Torture try out his new guillotine. <laughs> <laughs>